Hey, my name is Brendan. I'm the check-in support specialist here at Planning Center. And today I wanna to talk to you about a pretty common error that you might see on a Sunday morning. Say you've just run out of labels in your brother printer and you have to replace the label cartridge. And then once that's done, you wanna verify everything's working, but you get an error message saying that you have the wrong label type installed. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Let's take a look at our check-in station. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our printer settings. You know what? Just replace the cartridge. I wanna make sure everything's good to go. So I'm gonna print a, pet, a test label out. Uh, there's the error message. Current label cartridge doesn't match the selected one. Please choose the correctly installed label type. Okay, so to fix this, we've gotta come back to our printer. We're gonna open it and we've gotta check just a couple of things. The first is you wanna take the cartridge and you wanna look at the bottom, not only for these two little holes, but also some of these numbers. In this case for this cartridge, and every cartridge is a little bit different depending on what labels you buy but the numbers that matter for this are 205. Okay, so we've got those three numbers now. The other thing to check when you've got your printer open is we've got these little pins in the bottom, and that's what the cartridge uh, uses to determine what labels are installed and then in turn communicate that to the printer. You just wanna make sure that they're going up and down freely and that there's no debris there that would cause an issue. So now that we've verified that, let's install the label cartridge again. Make sure that's firmly seated. Feed your labels out just a, just a little bit close it and then let's hit this cut button once and then everything's squared away. All right, so back to the station, let's select the correct label type. So we're gonna open the printer settings and then we've got that 251 that doesn't match. So we wanna select 205. Now that we've got that selected, the station should automatically communicate that to the printer and Kevin McAllister's now checked in. So man, I hope that those steps help you fix these issues pretty quick. And as always, if you need help, just click the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of any of our products to send a message of support. Thank you.